Um, I know it's been a while since I've put a video up. And forgive me, I'm finally putting, the, I'm finally holding the camera the right way, but it feels weird because I'm so used to looking in the middle, so I'm going to try to look straight on to you guys. But um, anyways, I'm here to do um, my 9 and 10 week update for pregnancy. So, this feels so weird because I'm used to it being the other way, but I know y'all can't see it in full view um, the other way. So, let's see. My symptoms. Um, well, the last time y'all saw me, last time y'all saw us, we were at my sister's. Um, we had a good weekend visiting them. And then the last two weeks have been pretty good. Um, the nausea's, you know, still doing really well with the medicine. It's helping a lot. Um... I'm still pretty tired, you know, it depends on the day, but like um, Monday I had my first official appointment at my actual um, OBGYN, the one that's going to deliver me, so I got established there. Um, the first place I went was just somewhere that you could go, you know, in the meantime until you get set up with your OBGYN. Sorry, I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, okay, sorry, I'm a little rusty, I haven't been up here in a while, just feels really weird, but, um, anyways, so, we went to our appointment, Joseph went with me on Monday, and we, they did a bunch of paperwork, um, a lot of blood work, they took four tubes of my blood, which pretty much, um, made me sleep the rest of the day, I was so tired, um, and they did a vaginal, um, exam, which I was hoping we would get to hear the heartbeat, but she said that they don't do that until 12 weeks, and since I'm so close, um, to 12 weeks, she said that she's going to have me come back in two weeks, and then at the next appointment, we can hear the heartbeat, and, um, hopefully get an ultrasound. She said that, because I'm really anxious to find out if it's a boy or a girl, um, and she said that I can call my insurance company since I'll be 35 um, on my actual delivery because my birthday is in October, October 20th, and I'm scheduled to deliver on October 31st, um, or, you know, that's just a guesstimated, um, guesstimated date. But So she said since I'll be 35, I can actually call the insurance and see they might cover for me to get an early genetic test done since, um, you know, I'm right on the verge of being, like, high risk. So, I'm going to call and see if they'll cover that. If so, they can actually find out if it's a boy or a girl um, at my next appointment. So, that would be awesome. I know I'm really impatient. A lot of people like to wait, but I kind of want to just know. I feel like it's a boy, but she said that um, the whole, like, old wives tell, you know, about the heartbeat is not true. So, since the heartbeat was 138, you know, we were really thinking it's probably a boy, and especially because I've been craving salt um, with this pregnancy, and I haven't been as sick, but we'll see. We're not sure. So, um, my sister and her husband said that they want to, um, they would like to throw us, if we want to, they would like to throw us a gender reveal party, which I think would be really fun. As you know, you see, like, the different ideas that you can do with that, and I think that would be really fun. I just don't know if I can wait. The suspense will probably kill me not knowing what it is, so we'll see if I can wait. But um, my symptoms have been, for the last two weeks, have been pretty much the same. Um, pretty tired. Um, my energy, I've had more energy, though, than I was. Like, when I came home from my doctor's appointment, I slept pretty much the rest of the day. But now I feel really energized, you know, I feel pretty good, and I'm able to get things done around the house. Um, I have noticed if I do a lot, it takes a lot out of me, though. Um, I think I'm short on breath because I had a coffee this morning. Like, in the beginning of my pregnancy, I, I just stopped. I didn't have a taste for coffee anymore, so I just stopped drinking coffee altogether. This morning, I had a taste for... A, an iced coffee, so I got one from Dunkin' Donuts, and I don't know, I think it's like made me short on breath, maybe because I'm not used to the caffeine, because the only thing I drink other than water is Sprite, and it doesn't have caffeine, so anyways, um, 
my face is still broken out but I'm using proactive so ho I'm hoping that that's it seems like it's starting to work um, let's see oh I'm really happy because at my daughter's appointment they weighed me and although I'm more than I wanted to be when I got pregnant um, even though I am 11 weeks and one day today yesterday I was 11 weeks so I'm 11 weeks and one day today I'm actually at 174 which is what I was at when I before I got pregnant so that's good that I haven't gained any weight um, because with my daughter I gained like a ton of weight so I'm hoping which I know I'll gain weight you know um, throughout the pregnancy but I'm just at least happy that I haven't gained a lot and you know so far um, oh a big symptom that I'm having is I think it might be from this medicine the diclegis that I'm on because I'm taking it every day for nausea um, I think it's giving me weird dreams I don't know if it's just pregnancy or um, if it's the medicine but I'm thinking it might be have to do with the medicine a little bit because I'm just having the weirdest dreams like they're so random and I remember them every night and they're just kind of pointless like or at least I feel they're pointless it's just a lot of random stuff and just weird crazy dreams um, but it's better than you know being sick um, a couple cravings I've had lately are pickles um, Mexican pizza from Taco Bell um, Chick-fil-A fries which I, I love Chick-fil-A anyways but I haven't really wanted the chicken sandwich like I used to I just really love the fries and the ice cream the ice cream there is so delicious um, and anything salty um, I've had a little bit of back pain but nothing really you know nothing too bad um, we're starting to think of names, which, you know, we have to come up with a boy and a girl name because we're not sure, you know, what it's going to be yet. But we're kind of, we've kind of came up with a couple, um, but we're still searching. We haven't found, like, the one. If it's a girl, we like the name Nevea. Um, and if we've thought about Declan for a, if it's a boy, but we're not really sure. Um, let's see. Sorry, I have a list of, so I don't forget anything. I'm on my lunch break, so. Um. Let's see. This weekend, we just, we went shopping at Burlington, and I finally found some maternity clothes. I'm so happy, and they're a really good price. So, I'm happy I got some maternity clothes. Um, we took the girls swimming. We took Ari and her friend, Audrey, to ViQuest. Um, so while Joseph worked out, we took them swimming, so that was fun. Um, this weekend is Easter. I'm trying to make it less than 10 minutes because last time it cut me off for whatever reason. Um, and I wanted to show y'all our picture. I'm going to see if it's in here. If it's in my purse, I'll show it to y'all. If not, I'll show you next time. But, um... Of course, I can't find it when I want to. Anyways, I'll show y'all next time. But they're not the best pictures, but I showed y'all in the last video, but I got cut off. So, let's see. Um, that's pretty much it. Everything's going well. And I just wanted to get up here real quick and update y'all and let you know I'm doing good. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. And... I hope y'all have a good rest of the week. I had Monday off, so this is a short week for me, thank God. And it's already Wednesday, so it's going by pretty fast. Um, I'm trying not to get overwhelmed because there's a lot that I want to get done around the house before the baby comes. So I'm just trying to take it, you know, one day at a time and do things um, one thing at a time as I have energy to. So that's about it. But um, I hope y'all are doing well, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.